One of the biggest problems with affiliate marketing in the past has been the difficulty in actually tracking the number of people who are clicking on your affiliate ads. There are now a few options for tracking your affiliate clicks. In this video, we'll look at a web-based service called Bitly. Here's an ad that I created for my example blog using the monetization module. Now, I just want to add a Find Out More button at the bottom of my ad, and to do this, all I have to do is click the button and drag it down here to the bottom of my ad. Market Samurai then displays this dialog box, which allows me to set up the properties of my button. I've previously set up my Amazon account, so now all I have to do is choose my Amazon account from this drop down box here. And then Market Samurai automatically creates my affiliate link, which you can see down here. This next option, the URL shortening option, is where I select the service I wish to use to shorten my link and also track how many people actually click through this affiliate ad. So I'll just check this checkbox. In this example, I'm going to use a Bitly account. If you already have a Bitly account, you can just enter your details in down here. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to assume that you don't currently have a Bitly account. To sign up for a new account, just click this link here. Market Samurai then opens a new browser window and the website Bitly asks me to choose a new username and enter my email address and a password. I can then create an account by clicking this sign up button down here. Having created my account, I can close this window down and return to Market Samurai. The title here is just the internal Market Samurai name for my account. So I'm just going to call it my bit.ly account. And then I'll just enter my username and my password. And click the add account button. With my account set up, I can now click the shorten URL button, which will take this very long affiliate link and log into my bit.ly account to generate a shortened web link. And here is my new link. As you can see, it's much shorter than my original affiliate link. But the real benefit is that this shortened link will also allow me to track how many people are clicking on my affiliate offer. To get started, let's just insert this link into my ad. Now my next step would be to publish this ad to my website, which I've talked about in a previous video. When my ad is published, it appears on my blog like this. Now I've already clicked on this link a couple of times to test it, but let's just click it again before we go and check our stats. As expected, the link takes us through to Amazon.com with our affiliate link intact. To find out how many people are clicking through our affiliate link, all I have to do is go to the Bitly website and sign into my account. So here I just enter my username and my password and sign in. And here you can see that there have been five clicks so far, which have probably all been me during my test visits. So that's how to track affiliate click-throughs using Bitly.